very often I come across veterans in active duty military who would like to buy a property with their VA benefits, but they already own a home with a VA loan on it. So there is a pretty straightforward calculation to determine what you're able to qualify for as far as what the VA would guarantee based on the amount of entitlements you have wrapped up in any current properties. So let's go to a spreadsheet that I made and you're, you're welcome to grab a copy yourself and do what you like. I put together the spreadsheet to quickly calculate based on how much entitlements are wrapped up in a current property or maybe even a compromised uh, situation with a previous foreclosure or short sale to see what the VA would guarantee. Now this is not what you can borrow because you still have to qualify for the mortgage itself, but this will show you based on entitlements alone what the VA would guarantee uh, as far as a loan amount cap without a down payment on a purchase, or if you're going over that amount, how much of a down payment you would need, which is 25% of the difference. So let's take a look here. There are really only four fields to fill out, one being the county loan limit, which is set annually, so that probably won't change for a while, and your entitlements charged, which would be on your certificate of eligibility, and I'll show you in a second, and then you have the sale price and the appraised value, right? So let's take a look at a COE, and I've redacted all personal information, but pretty much this is what it looks like if you have current entitlements. Now it could be an active loan like here, or it could be a prior loan that was foreclosed or short sale, or perhaps it was a home that was sold and they just didn't update it, which we can correct quickly. But this really just tells you all we need to know. Even the loan amount's not even important at all, but just the entitlements charge. So this guy or gal, 73,912, so I don't, so let's go back to here, 73,912, and based on this and the loan amount, it says the max that the VA would guarantee without a down payment is $430,552. Um, now, the sales price we have here and appraised value are under that, so that's totally fine. That You can see there's nothing additional due. All right, so what if the appraisal comes in short? Well, in this case, the appraised value came in under the sale price, but that's still under the max 100% uh, for 100% financing. So there's no shortage for based on the uh, entitlement, but you still have the appraisal gap shortage of 25,000. Uh, now let's let's increase this a bit so you can see what it looks like when you have both going on. Uh, appraisal shortage and uh, entitlement shortage. Uh, we have a short appraised value, 25,000, so that's required out of pocket no matter what. Then you still have the lower of the numbers, the appraised value, which is what the financing will be based off of, is still higher than the max that the VA would guarantee without a down payment. So the difference between those is right here, and you would be responsible for 25% of that, which is this number right here. So that plus that means if you have that much entitlement wrapped up and you want to buy a $475,000 property that appraises for four fifty, dollars you need to bring in $30,000, which is less than 10%. And without the mortgage insurance, month the monthly mortgage insurance, it's probably still a better deal than a conventional loan. Hope this helps and feel free to get the calculator yourself, save a copy, make whatever changes you want, but all you need to edit is the green fields. Otherwise, if you screw the calculations, you may screw up everything.